As in the previous video, we have already learned how to fit the straight line on a given data. So in this video, we will try to fit exponential curve with the given data in Microsoft Excel. So curve fitting is the process of constructing a curve or mathematical function that has the best fit to a series of data points. Fitted curve can be used as an aid for data visualization to conclude values of a function where no data are available and to summarize the relationship among the two or more variables. As we know, equation for the exponential decay curve is y is equals to 1 by b into exponential a minus x by b where a is the position and b is the scale parameter. So let's try to fit one exponential decay curve with the given data. So we have a data set of x and y values. In this case, the value of y decreases exponentially. If we plot a graph of this with xy scatter plotting, so we get a graph something like this. Let me change the look of the graph. Okay, now it's even better. So now, as per the equation of exponential decay, we need two constants, which is a and b. Let the value of a and b are 1, 1. So let's try to write the same equation which we have discussed in the previous slide. So the equation is 1 by b, that is j3, into exponential of a minus x divided by b, which is j2 minus a2 divided by j3. Here, we don't want to change the cells of A and B. So that's why we will put dollar sign in front of these things. Now, we can drag this cell so that Excel can calculate the values for each value of X. So now, let's plot this calculated data on the same graph. So here, this brown line shows the calculated data. Let me change the appearance of this again to a black line. Now, as we change the value of A and B, the data will change and it will show some similar exponential decay type of curve. Now, we can calculate the chi square which is square of deviation from the actual value. So, chi square is square of difference of actual value minus calculated value. So, b2 minus c2 the whole square. Now, we can also drag this column so that chi square is calculated for each value of x. And lastly, we need sum of chi square which is, which is sum of d column. As you can see now, the sum of chi square value is very high and that's why the calculated curve differ too much with the actual values. So we need to minimize this sum chi square. For this, we can use one add-ins that is solver. If it is not available in your Microsoft Excel, then you can go to options and then add-ins and select, select solver from add-in windows. Now, when we press solver button, it shows a new window. Here, we have to select the target cell, which is sum of chi square. And we want to minimize this value, so select minimum. And then we can select the changing cells, which are the values of A and B. And when we press the solve button, it will try to change the value of A and B to minimize the value of sum chi square. So, we got this type of curve. Now, you can see that it has calculated the value of a and b so that it can minimize sum of chi square and now this calculated value and actual value they are matching perfectly similarly we can fit the data for exponential increase curve also which is having equation y is equals to 1 by b exponential a plus x by b here only instead of a minus x we are putting a plus x where a is the position and b is the scale parameter. So let's try this also. So we can work on a new data set with x and y values. Let's plot the graph.
and let me change the appearance of the graph okay so now we have a little better graph so here we have to again find out the value of a and b so let assume they are 1 and 1 now we can write the equation for the calculated fit which is 1 by b exponential of x plus a divided by b so that is 1 by j2 into exponential j1 plus a2 divided by j2 here again we don't want to move the value of a and b so we can put the dollar sign in front of in front of j columns and now we can drag the equation so that it will fill the cells let's plot this data also on the same curve okay so we have got this brown uh, curve which is for the calculated data let me change its appearance to a black colored line okay now it's available here so here we can again change the value of a and b to have a better looking graph and now again we have to calculate the chi square which is the difference between the actual value and the calculated value and the whole square so we can put the formula and we can drag it and the sum of chi square is the sum of total values in d column so this comes around 10 to the power 30 <gasps> very high now again we can use the solver uh, add in so we can set the target cell as the sum of chi square and the variables a and b or the changing cells a and b and just click on the solve button it will try to fit the data so now you can see that now black color line is perfectly matching with the red color data so now we have fitted our graph for exponential increase also and if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel please don't forget to press the bell icon and now you can also get my lecture notes from chepecmedia.co.nf